Okay, so in the last demo, we showed you how to create basic page templates for Xlearn. Now what we're going to do is instead of using HTML to render the display for the learner, we're going to provide that display via a shockwave file. So in order to do that, we'll go into our display and make some changes. First of all, we're going to add some text on the, on the page where we're currently populating the value coming in from our field. We're going to repurpose this to embed our, our Swift file. We have a little bit of JavaScript in here that we make available to the Swift file via the external interface and so that it can get template parameters from us and so that the Swift file can notify us when it's done and pass us the result. And then we just embed the object in the page here. The other change that we're going to make is to our JavaScript where we set the text. Instead of setting that span that we just provided a new purpose for, to the value in the field, we're going to we're going to use that field, the field, uh, as the value that we're going to pass in to the question uh, that's displayed in this Swift file. This Swift file is for a multiple choice question, and we're going to pass in a bunch of dummy values for all the other options. But you get the basic idea. You can add more fields to your editor, and you have to add then more fields into your hidden section, like this prop display text, which we're passing in as the field. Um, and then you can, in this way, provide parameters to the Shockwave file, uh, for the Shockwave file to use on startup. All right, so let's take a look and see if our display has changed at all. Okay, so we've got ourselves a multiple choice question. As you can see, it passed in the value from our field. And that's basically how you incorporate Shockwave templates in the Xlearn content development system.